Hello everyone, I'm Kastara. Welcome back to Sakura Shrinkers. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm still playing this game. Somehow. So, let, let's see how, how this game goes. I, I, I want to go after... Ka Kayo? I think that was her name. I'm so sorry. I'm really bad at remembering names. So, let's continue. When I wake up in the morning, Nayaku isn't in my room. But I can't help but notice all of the noise downstairs. Oh, there you are, Toru. You're up early today, you know. Oh, no. Gra Grandpa let her in again, didn't he? Seated at the kitchen table, Nayako looks up at me. She mumbles through her mouth something about... Which something sounds like good morning. You didn't tell me that you had a friend staying with you today, Toru. You, Dad. Look at me, Dad. Grandpa, you do not notice the cat ears and tail, do you? He nudges me with his elbow. I said that you're going to have some luck with the ladies once you moved here. Please don't tease me about that. You look really tired, Toro. Did you get much sleep? Not really, no. When I tried to go to bed, Nayako ended up sleeping on top of me. Damn cat. She needs to be more reserved. <laughs> well, I want to go with Kayo, so I have to choose this. Because I'm sure if I choose the other one, it'll go with Nayako, which I do not want. So, I wish she was a bit more like Kayo. Oh, okay, so I did get her name right. It is Kayo. She needs to learn restraint. Well then, Toru. I hope you are ready for the big day. We're starting your training. But, what about school? I already sent him a letter, you aren't feeling well. Wow, thank you, Grandpa. You've got the whole day off to train with Nayako, but I want Kayo! It's going to be great, Toru. I haven't shown you the shrine yet. That's right, you only checked out Kayo's shrine, didn't you? Well, yeah. So it isn't fair you, that you only go to her shrine. Alright, alright, there's no need to get mad. Grandpa just grins at me. What a smooth operator we have here. That attitude is going to be important in your training, Toro. Now hurry up and eat. You're going to be heading out very soon. What do you mean by your? Aren't you coming with? No, no. Nayako can help you learn everything you need to know. And my back hasn't been playing. Has been playing up again. So, going for a walk isn't really a good idea right now. So, I'm going to be spending even more time alone with this cat. I guess I will have to bear with it. After a quick breakfast, Nayako practically drags me out of the house. Come on, come on. I have so much that I want to show you, Toru. I know, I know. We have to make up for when Kyle stole you away from me. Why is it that you two get along so badly anyway? It's complicated. Both of us are from the same house of spirits, which consists of many different groups. And I just don't like her. Wow. That doesn't really sound like... Oh, that doesn't really sound that complicated to me. Some people just dislike each other. Well... When the house gets involved and stuff like that, it just get complicated. For now though, that doesn't matter. Here we are. The atmosphere in this place is completely different to the outside world. I think I'm beginning to understand. They named this place Twin Gates, where you come from, right? That's right. Yep, that was my phone. I'm so sorry. It's sort of like a beacon. There are only a few places like it in your world. I see. Sort of. Although my sisters cannot pick up what it is. Something about this place just feels very different. I wonder. A lot of people possess a small amount of psychic ability. It's that feeling you get which you can't quite explain. That gut feeling that warns you about danger when you think you hear something. 
Listen, I hear things all the time and I just ignore it. That's all I know. I'm like, mm hmm, I don't got time for that. Training your ability is going to be very important if you want to be a priest. She's meditating that festival again. Come on, let me show you inside. The inside of Mayaka Shrine is quite different from Kaio Shrine. Hmm. It seems a lot newer. The sunlight pours in from the outside, seemingly in the perfect place for a cat to take a nap. What do you think? It's quite nice in here, but I think we're getting distracted. I need to know about the Ascension Festival in Ayako. What do you need to know? I'm so sorry about my phone. Give me one moment, please. Alrighty, sorry about that. Um, I'm just gonna lower my volume to make sure you guys don't hear it when I get a message. Yeah! Well, you've told me that it's an event which will allow you and Kyle to stay in this realm as guardian spirits. But what is my role in all this? Priests help to govern the roles of spirits in this world. Kyle must have told you about it before. There are spirits in everything you see. That is what she said. So you're telling me that I have to keep that I have to help keep the spirits in line? Kind of like a spirit policeman? Yep, that's pretty much it. What you call an exorcism in this world is just quelling out of control spirits. Sometimes that one spirit becomes trapped inside a stone or a house. And a priest is the one who helps put them back in their rightful place. Isn't, it, isn't that a bit forceful, however? Not at all. A one spirit desires to be free. To be trapped and unable to leave it makes them very sad. So essentially I can command and direct spirits. That's a really simple way to put it, but yes. You help guide spirits and talk to them as well. So your role in the Assistance Festival will be to serve as a spiritual anchor for us while we stay in this world. And what would happen if this festival didn't work out as planned? Oh, don't worry about it. There's no way it can go wrong. L listen, Kai Nayako, my bad. I'm on a level with you. There are thousands of ways. Thousands, thousands of ways. It can go wrong, okay? Since we've already arrived in this world, and your spirit is so strong, there should be no problem. But aren't you doing just fine without me? I mean, you and Kyra were already going to school before I arrived here. It was your grandfather providing us with an anchor in this world. Despite his age, he has a strong spirit. Now that you're here, he's been able to take it easy. That's why we always need a priest before the Assassin's Festival. Event! I'm so sorry, I'm butchering names. All you, words, sorry. All you need to do is keep your eyes open to both worlds. And keep your spirit strong. <clears throat> With your help, we'll be, we will bring order to this land, as our house has done for centuries. You sound like a lot more formal than you usually do. It's just something I have to do, okay? I can't just explain it in a really simple way. Really though, all you need to do is believe. Nothing can go wrong. Is that supposed to be my training? Well, obviously there's some other things. But for the sake of the festival, you will be fine. Don't think you're getting out of training, however. Just because you come from a long line of mediums doesn't mean you can't let your talents go to waste. Once you sharpen your senses, you will become a great priest. I'm sure of it. Now then, we're going to start you off with some exercises. Every spirit learns these in order to help them define and maintain themselves in the beyond. And so for the rest of the morning, Nayako drills, through me drills me through mental exercises to help me improve my talent as a medium. Ugh, exercise. After spending all that time with Nayako yesterday, I do feel as though my senses are much sharper than they were before. That strange feeling I got when I was walking home the other day. It's starting to become less unpleasant. Even in somewhere as mundane as this, I experienced it a bit differently than before. 
The leaves on the trees are greener, the skies are deeper blue. Aren't I supposed to be skeptic? How am I just readily accepting all of this? He said it was because I denied their existence, and I was not able to see any of this before. However, many people in the world are like me then. Just how much happens around us that we don't see. As I continue to think to myself, I hear someone else walking up the street. <gasps> it's Kayo! <gasps> Greetings, Toru. Kayo bows before me in a dignified manner. I hope that your time spent with Nayako was not too draining. She can be di very difficult if you're in the same room as her for too long. No, no, it wasn't anything like that. I am glad. She does not appreciate the responsibilities that has been placed upon us. She partake in the uh, accession festival and govern the spirits of this land. That is our duty and one we should proudly uphold. I don't think it is unreasonable. Oh, that's me. I don't think it is unreasonable to have a little bit of fun while you're here. After all, wouldn't you at least be a bit curious about this world? Well, I do need to understand this world if I am going to serve as a guardian spirit. Why is it so important that you need to govern this land anyway? As I told you, we are guardians. We basically enforce the borders between your world and ours. Strange things can happen in lands that do not possess guardian spirits residing over them. So that is our duty. I see. Our roles are to guide and shape it to ensure its prosperity. So you're kind of like a god. That is one way to put it. We arrive at the school gates. Please do not tell me there's going to be another wind spirit teasing her. Please, I don't want to see that again. I cannot stand. I cannot stand Nayako not taking this seriously enough. It is an honor to be picked as a govern governing spirit. She spends her time in such petty ways. How can she be so negligent? I can't pronounce words, okay? When I was talking to her, she seemed to take it seriously enough. You do not know her as I do. It's then that I hear the sound of something tripping over above us. Ah! Uh. A cascade of water rains down from the heavens, soaking Kaya from head to toe. Through her soaked uniform, I see her distinct black lace panties again. For a moment, she just stands there and says nothing. The look on her face is a mixture of disgust and anger. I know that most cats hate water. So I don't know how much Kaya would hate it too. Nayako, I know that was you. You had a bit better come down here right now. Make me. Nayako ahead pops out of the window above us. So it looks like the rumors were true. Black lacy panties. I just stand there in shock. You're, you're always doing things like this. I swear when I catch you, you're going to get it. <laughs> you're not going to be able to catch me like that. And Kaya looks down at herself at her silk clothes. Why do the uniforms have to be white? I, I don't know. I wear this sometimes too. Damn it, I'm looking up again. Except this time, I can see that she has a matching bra for the <laughs> She has a matching bra for those lace panties. Hey, you gotta match, you know? They gotta be at least somewhat color coordinated. Not only that, but she has a big... A big... Ribbon. I shook my head trying to clear the vertigo from my mind. Nayako, come down here right away. Nope, I don't feel like it. That silly black cat needed a shower anyway. And you need to be disciplined. Before Kyle can start moving, I put my arm in front of her. What are you doing, Toru? Please don't cause a scene. I look around me. It's surprisingly empty around here. Let's get you somewhere where you can dry off. I'll talk to Nayako about this later. Is there anywhere where the sun hits and no one is going to see us? There are a few places around here. Come on then. I take her by the hand. Is it, is it really necessary to hold my hand like that? Now isn't the, really the time to worry about things like that. You'll be embarrassing if anyone sees you like this, won't it? Yes, that's right. Damn that Nayako. 
I will have my revenge for this. Ha! Huh, don't worry about revenge right now. We can sort that out later. I don't know why, how I am holding my composure in this situation. But somehow those exercises in Naiko made me practice. I feel much more composed than I ever had been before. We managed to get Kayo somewhere where she could change. Get changed. I'm not very happy that Naiko did something like that, however. At least no one else saw Kayo's panties. I can only imagine how much grief that would put her through. Incidents such as these should happen all the time back in the beyond. She's just trying to throw me off. That was completely uncalled for, no matter what way you look at it. I appreciate your concern, but this is a matter between her and me. Please allow me to deal with her on my own terms. There's no need for you to concern yourself about it. It's not relevant to you, to put it bl bluntly. It's not matter if we get along or, not, or do not. As long as we sufficiently, so, so efficiently, yeah, fulfill our duties, that is the only important thing. I don't buy that. Ah, uh, no! I should talk to Nyako about it, but I am concerned. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna leave it off here. Because I, I don't want to choose wrong. I have to try to decide which one will be better. Like, I am concerned about her, but also I want to talk to Nayako about it and, like, scold her. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you in the next part, and let's just hope there's no more, um, see-through shirts and panties. Because my mind, it, it, it can't handle it.